Dana and I are out here for a uh, two-day scouting trip. This is an area that we, I've been wanting to get into for a long time, but the road to get up in this area was so uh, absolutely destroyed that there was there was no way to get in here with the car. But now there's a mine uh, operating up this way, and uh, they're maintaining the road so we could get in here with the car. The car is only about 300 meters up this ridge, and uh, I was able to pull it in off the road about half a kilometer and then just park it. And uh, you can see we got a lot of territory around here. This is, uh, before you cross any roads or anything around here, there's about 100 square kilometers of uh, just wilderness. And if you count the area, if you cross those roads, there's probably another 100 square kilometers surrounding this. So we are in uh, prime rattlesnake country out here. And I'm out here with my son, Daniel. And one of the things I was thinking about was that uh, if you're walking in this waist-high grass, you don't want to run into rattlesnakes. So I always carry a stick in the Cerrado. And I, but if you can look around here, there's not much in the way of sticks that are straight you can cut. And I thought, well, I, I have a stick at home. I've got that stick that I cut for my cold steel bushman. I thought, well, this is prime mountain lion country as well. So if I'm going to take the cold steel bushman stick, I might as well take the cold steel bushman as well. Uh, I'll be doing a... I'll be talking about this. You'll see this in you know, all, the, all of our videos. I'm going to be carrying our spear, but uh, I carry it with the sheath on. One thing I found is uh, very useful for the, the cold steel bushman is you have the little hole, the little mounting hole on the bottom here. And uh, rather than using a wood screw, I use one of these little hook eye screws. That way I can turn it in with just a stick. I don't have to have any special kind of screwdriver to, to mount this. But uh, the cold steel bushman, it's a nice comforting thing. We are far enough remote that uh, you're the only help you're going to get around here. So it's a comforting thing to have your spear in camp. Uh, I'll give you a pan around here and show you our, our campsite. This is Daniel's hammock shelter here. I have gully right here. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a rain gully beneath his. And my Hennessy is set up over here. It is set up way lower than I normally do. But uh, there's not too many trees out here that can hold up our weight. You can see this is back in here. There's uh, quite a, an area of cliffs right over there that uh, we were just out taking some pictures. I'll show you a clip I shot off the edge of that. So you can see we've got all kinds of uh, space out here to explore. Tomorrow we're going to take a look down in the valley. I can hear there's water flowing down there. But basically I want to use this area for training for both Perardua and Bushmaster. Um, we had done the compass uh, navigation of the advanced course up the ridge from here. I just pulled in. It's nice and flat up on top so we didn't have to go too far. It's easy walking out here. But you do have to be careful with snakes. That's why I really like carrying a stick out here. Uh, the bushman slides nice through the bush with the sheath on there. I would never carry this thing uh, without the sheath. That is a very formidable spear and you don't want to fall on that. The other thing about the bushman is you want you want the spear, the knife of the spear to be up above your head when you're resting. Uh, you don't want to get in a situation where you're you're falling on your own spear. The classic suicide motif so I keep the sheath on it when I'm carrying it and uh, with the screw eye on there it's nice and secure. This is a hardwood shaft which I cut a few years ago. And uh, out here in the middle of mountain lion country it's nice to have a spear. I do not expect a mountain lion attack. Just be, be clear on that. There have been mountain lion attacks here in Minas Gerais. Uh, they're very, very, un, very rare, very uncommon. Normally mountain lions here they just run if they catch any wind of you. We do have in the lower forest uh, Jago Chirica, which are uh, ocelot, uh, all which also just run. There's also maned wolves here, which I would be privileged to actually see one. They're not very uh, easily seen. They're kind of like a fox on steroids. But basically, there is nothing out here that I would need to spear. But uh, in the middle of the night, when things go 
bump or the sticks break out there, it is really nice to have your spear with you. So, uh, sun's coming down, the moon's going to be coming up, and our cold steel bushman will be protecting our camp tonight. last two nights the bushman has been leaning up against the this tree here that's been holding up my hammock. It is a comfort to have a seven foot spear in camp. Normally when I carry the large bushman I, I, I carry it with the intention of setting it up as a spear. I've carried that a couple times. Like I said before I cut this shaft a few years ago and I just kind of keep it around the house. The large bushman is a large knife. It's a seven inch blade. I really appreciate the mini Bushman. As a knife, as a survival knife, it's a good size if you're going to carry it in addition to a machete and you also have the ability to set it up as a spear. The mini Bushman is no longer in production which is a shame. I, as far as I'm concerned it's one of the most economical survival knives and if I'm going to carry a machete in the bush and I want to might want a spear. Uh, the mini Bushman is a good knife to carry along just to use for small cutting tasks and things like that. Plus that wonderful added benefit of the hollow handle that can set it up as a spear. I've used this knife as a survival knife and uh, usually I give it to one of my kids. My daughter carried this for a number of years because I figured a, a 13 year old kid with a spear is a lot more formidable than just a 13 year old kid. If you wrap the cord directly onto the mini Bushman's handle, the, the slick paint makes the uh, cord get loose, it slips and things. So what I do is I wrap it with rubber grip tape. That way, whether the cord is on there or not, you still have a secure grip on the handle of the knife. And I've also set this one up with a, a finger guard. When the cord wraps on there, the, the round profile of the handle, it doesn't index very well in the hand. And uh, I figured I'd put that little bent bar of aluminum in there to act as uh, a finger guard but it also makes the handle so it's not round and that allows it to index when you pick it up in the dark you know exactly which way the uh, blade is facing and the way the cone shaped handle is uh, tapers towards the blade any kind of slip or shock on the blade could easily slide your hand down onto the cutting edge so for a kid uh, definitely set it up with a finger guard um, it's just a lot more safe that way. And the sheath that comes with the, the Bushman is, uh, doesn't allow the, the cord wrapped handle to enter the sheath. It's a pouch style sheath that comes up to about here. So I picked this one up at a flea market for about two dollars. It's a Schrade sheath. I have no idea what knife it was for. I was at the flea market and it looked like that would fit the mini Bushman perfectly. So I, I picked that one up for believe I paid two dollars for that but it's got a plastic liner in here which is uh, which is great so it doesn't cut the sheath I set it up with a rubber inner tube rubber on the outside to put some survival supplies in there of course you can stuff something in the hollow handle for a long time I had a, a BSA hot spark and uh, some braided jute twine which I could wrap around that and just jam it in the handle and you could just pull on the jute to get that out that's long gone stuck on another knife right now but all in all, for, for the money, the Cold Steel Bushman is a great knife to keep in the trunk of your car, to keep, you know, just have one handy. And uh, if you're ever in an area where you might need a spear, um, a spear is a much more formidable weapon than any knife you would carry. 
Uh, here in Brazil, I can't carry a handgun out in the bush legally, but uh, nothing in the books about about not carrying a spear. So a spear is a good option for me out here. We didn't get attacked by any mountain lions. I didn't have to deal with any rattlesnakes. Daniel did hear one, but uh, he stopped and backed up and uh, actually called me on the radio and said, Dad, I, I ran into a rattlesnake. So uh, we didn't have to kill anything with our spears, but they are nice to have. You just feel a lot more defensible in camp if you have a good camp spear.